you have done a lot of work in previous videos and you learned a lot already about linear algebra and dynamical systems. That effort is going to pay off now because we are finally able to see what the fate is of our lions and zebras. We will solve our dynamical system in this video. We had a dynamical system xk plus 1 equals a times xk, where a is this matrix over here. And we know xk equals a to the power k times x0. However, this is not nice because the matrix A is awkward. So computing high powers of A is awkward as well, even more awkward, of course. So what are we going to do? Let the computer do the work or can we do it ourselves? Let's see. We know that A is diagonalizable. I a equals p times d times p inverse. This p is this matrix and d is that matrix. Check this for yourself. Then we do a trick. We choose a new variable. Instead of xk, we choose a variable ik. Take yk equals p inverse times xk. Why do we want to do that? Well, let's see what happens then to our dynamical system in this new variable ik. In this new variable, I get ik plus 1 equals p inverse times xk plus 1. I can put k plus 1 over here. But xk plus 1 equals a times xk. But we know a equals p d p inverse. So something nice is going on here. But something nice is going on here as well, because here we have a y k. So what do we get in the end? I k plus 1 equals, this cancels out, d times i k. There we are. And we know how to solve this dynamical system for i k. It's standard i k equals d to the power k times i zero. So we know what i k is, but we want to know x k of course, because x k contains the information about the lions and the zebras. So what happens to x k now? Well, that's not so hard. i k equals p inverse times x k, so i k becomes p inverse times x k equals d to the power k times p inverse times x0. So now we can compute ik. xk becomes p times d to the power k times p inverse times x0. So there we have an explicit formula for xk. It contains a power of a matrix, but that doesn't hurt now because it's the power of a diagonal matrix. So if you plug in the numbers, we get xk equals the d to the power k, the matrix p over here, and p inverse is this matrix times 1 over 5. So there we have an explicit formula for xk. So we can plug in any k and any x0 and see what happens to the lines and the zebras. But wait a minute, wouldn't the graphical representation not be much nicer? <laughs> 